Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we got Doug in the house. Um, we're just going to switch it up a little bit. This is a probably a project that probably a lot of people uh, would like to be able to know how to do or would want to do. Doug's just tearing the car apart without... I'm not sure what's going on, but anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to make a quarter panel for this car. Um, this car we bought a long time ago. I did not customize it, and the reason I did not customize it because it wasn't in the condition that it should be to start doing anything to it. To be honest with you, um, when we got it, when we got it home, you could see on the other side. We're outside today. It's a fantastic day here in Nova Scotia. We're outside today. When we first got it, it had it had this this showing uh, it showed that it had been bronzed up someone did a good job on it you know as good as they could do obviously um, you can see Doug has stripped this off here a while back and I just put some WD-40 on that so it didn't rust too bad we're gonna leave this project outside and that way there I can replace things fix things and, and carry on that way but this is one of those cars that need body work and that um, probably a lot of people are scared of um, to purchase this sort of car. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start repairing this car. Doug's going to help me and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do one piece at a time uh, to fix it. You can see on this side we start stripping some body fill on it and uh, body fills okay it makes everything look great but what has happened and it's, it's letting go from the car and it started blistering and bubbling so let's let's fix it. Um, for me to take and strip all that fill off and try to fix what's there not interested in that um, basically what I would like to do is I'd like to make make a no, whole new quarter panel for the car and I do not think it's that hard of a of a process um, you just have to pay attention and make a good pattern template whatever you want to call it you just have to be pay attention to that sort of stuff Doug if you'll get a, a screwdriver and we'll take that off Take that out. That way there are a paper lay straight. Um, we're not going to pay attention to uh, the fill and, and stuff like this because this is all going to be gone. We're going to cut it all off. But, but we, what we want to do is we want to make a pattern of, off of what we have. I'm going to cut off. There's a little piece there that's going to hold us up. And anybody can do this. Anybody can do this if you want to take your time and just pay attention on what you're doing. And... Uh, we're going to make a quarter panel for this car. This is a 56 Plymouth, and it's seen better days. Okay. I'm absolutely sure of it. I'm going to cut that off, Doug. At all times, watch your glass from from the grinder watch your glass we're not going to cover it up right this minute because we're just going to we're just going to make quarter panel if Doug wants to help me get a piece of paper off this bad boy without ripping it or I can get it off myself I just this paper is very 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 thin uh, it's the only paper that I have here right now and uh, to make this quarter panel I want to get this paper off without ripping it I want to get it long enough just you want to hold that Hey Doug, just hold that pit, just hold it here. I just want to get it unraveled so it does not rip off. I want to get it long enough. All right, we got a long enough piece of paper. Now, got the paper. We've got some magnets right here. We're gonna to try to put the paper on straight where we want it. Let's go down some, Doug. We got that. We stripped it off to see where it's going. I want, basically what I wanna do is, I'm gonna give you a second. I'm gonna give you a couple magnets, Doug. We'll just actually put them on like that. Now, um, it's not long enough down here to see what's going on. How far up do I want the quarter panel? We've got all good sheet metal showing where it's at right now. We just 
kind of got it ground off where it was good sheet metal. Do I have enough to do the bottom of this? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm just looking to see how much I have for what I need. Do I have enough paper for that? Yes, I do. All right, this is what we're going to do. All right, we have... I'm going to bring... I'm going to leave mine up where it's at. I'm going to bring Doug's down a little bit. You're going to bring it down a little bit, Doug? Right about there somewhere? That's fantastic. I'm going to actually maybe drop this down a little bit. If you want to take that second magnet off, Doug, and we'll just drop this down a little bit. Got a hole right there. Let's, let's go right there. A little tiny bit of rust action showing there. That's not going to hurt anybody. We have enough in the back to go down around. Go down around and do what we're doing. When it comes time for down here, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's roll this down tight. Yeah, roll it down tight. And any time this paper rips, it's it's kind of a, it's not a good thing. Because you know, in actual fact, we're trying to get a, a pattern off the car. And we're trying to make sure the paper stays put. I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit. Two magnets here. I want to. I want one of them. There are two magnets here. I want one of them. Just tighten it up a little bit. It's going to be a little bit of a process, but anything worth doing takes time. holding it just like that it rips the, rips the paper so easy hmm. all right this is what we're going to do at the at the bottom there there is not enough paper to give us the pattern that we need or the amount of metal we need down here so what i'm going to do is this is what i'm going to do excuse me for a sec doug I'm going to go get Doug to move for a sec. I'm going to come along here with my marker, find the edge of the door. And uh, if it's too long, that's okay. If it's too short, that's not. So we're at the bottom of the door. We're just going to come along. We'll bring it this way a little bit. This is the sill. And then we'll come down here like this. Doug, if you want to hold. What we're going to do now is we're going to hold that paper. We're going to get it where it bends. We got some water damage on the paper. So the water damage on the paper is going to get cut off. So this is where it bends down for the quarter panel for underneath to meet the inside sill. So we're going to mark that here because we have not got enough paper to do it justice. So we're going to mark it off. And what happens is, we could have brought the paper down more to get enough paper to do that, but I really enjoy the metal that's up there. I don't want to get down into that poopy metal. We can always add this on to our pattern. If you know what I'm trying to say, this piece over here can be added on with anything, basically. So, that's where the quarter panel bends here, goes in, and then comes down and meets the inside cell. We're gonna play with this car off and on. Um, Jolene's getting undressed. It must be warm in Nova Scotia. So this is, we're, we're down like this. Now I'm gonna follow the wheel opening all the way around. And it's just a matter of, you know, feeling it and drawing it out. And I am allowed to adjust it at any point in time. And what I mean by adjust it, if I don't like how that looks right there, I just fix it, You know, if you know what I'm trying to say. So that's not matching up there, I fix it, basically. But we've got the basic wheel opening shape here 
So that's why we are using it, because we have it. It'd be foolish not to use it. It's right there. And we have nothing else to go by. So it doesn't matter how rusty or poopy your car quarter panel is, use it as a template and then fix it as you go. Do not cut it off and then expect to make it. Use what you have. Let's do this, Doug. Let's get this a little bit. Pull that magnet off, will you please? Let's get that down in there a little bit better. Get a truer, a truer read. So we have a a a a body line going in here, and I'm saying it's in here somewhere. I'm gonna just trace that out. We're in the middle there somewhere, I hope. So we're thinking there's a body line in there. We have gonna cut gonna trace this off. We are going to make this panel, when we put this piece of paper on a piece of metal, we're gonna make it bigger than it has to be. We're gonna make it taller than that because we do not want to, well actually no, sorry. We're gonna leave the quarter panel on. We'll cut down below this. We'll make this pad, this piece here, um, this, we'll run this straight, we'll leave that straight, but we will cut below this line that we just ran on the quarter panel so we have some, so when we come along to be able to cut and, and butt it on. Just this, this line here I'm drawing on here now, just to let us know how far up our quarter panel is coming. That's all that line's for. To let us know how far. So we get a tail light going on here. Got all this. It's from 3D printing what we need. Yeah. Let's roll this underneath here. I do not have, I do not have, uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit long here, I'm hoping, and the reason being is in case I need the metal. Yeah, in case I need it. Along there. It's a little bit long. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have a kick down or not. It's probably already been fixed once or twice. We can make it as long as we want to. The reason being is, it's our car and we can cry if we want to. We'll make that a little bit long. A little bit long going around there, that's good. We know where the body line is, looks good. Get that on there, we know what the wheel shape is. That we know. This paper is very thin. Ah. <laughs> oh my grind, you just cut this man. All right, I just wanted to get back and take a look, see where we're going with it. Okay. Let's take <clears throat> the magnets off this bad boy. And we're gonna lay it down flat. I'm gonna get Doug to help me because the paper's so thin, I'm afraid it's gonna rip. I'd like to have a little bit thicker paper, but I'm using what I have. Let's take the bottom off, Doug. Like playing checkers. Stick them on the car so we can use them for next time. Try not to rip the paper. Let's, uh, let's take it in the shop. Beautiful day today, no, no wind. All right. Now, this, this quarter panel is gonna to have to be rolled. And what I mean by roll, it's gonna to have to have a little bit of roll done to it. I have not got anything that long to roll that quarter panel, so I might, I might have to cut it in half and roll it. I don't want to. I'm thinking we, we also might be able to put it on and roll it down around, we might be able to do that. But that's our basic shape. Down here at the bottom, we have to remember that we have to add, doesn't look quite straight there, we have to add 
the piece that goes in and then down. So, first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut this out with a pair of scissors. Cut this out with a pair of scissors. That there is at the bottom of the door. If it's not straight when you've marked it out with your marker, try to straighten it out with your scissors. Basic stuff. I probably could have put a ruler on that and straightened that out. That paper is just like onion paper, but it's what we have and that's what we're gonna use. Another thing too, with making a quarter panel, you know, for this size, um, you basically just gotta find out how to make the shapes that you're needing uh, the easiest way possible. And that's basically what I'm good at, is finding how to make the shape I need. Remember, this has not got the 90 that goes in. So I've, I've actually made the paper to the shape of the opening and that's it i've not i've not made the piece so this is the opening of it but there's still a 90 lip that goes inside there <coughs> that we need for the car to fit the wheel opening and all that sort of stuff as i'm taking and making the quarter panel in your head you have to know or you don't have to but i'm going to tell you that the, that the wheel opening or the wheel well itself or the wheels up inside, that lip is gonna have to be fixed. I, 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 you obviously know because just looking at this, the trunk extension, that piece that comes down from the trunk comes down and, and welds onto this piece that comes around, that's gonna have to be fixed. But what I'm gonna say is, I like, I like to do the outside first and then fix that stuff. And the reason being is, is I care what it looks like. If I stand back and look at it, I want it to look good. I do not want to have to make something, fit something that doesn't look right. So if I come in here and cut this all off, <coughs> fix the wheel well opening, go to put my quarter panel on, it doesn't fit. Well, that sucks. I want the wheel opening or the quarter panel that I've made fit the car so I generally like to put that on make the outside look nice and then repair the inside stuff and the reason being is the outside is what you're looking at the inside you can build to it same with the door skin put your door skin on put all your gaps on nice put your skin on then make the bottom to go to it I, that's my opinion but the wheel lip that I said that I haven't put on that pattern that wheel lip is gonna be put on after the quarter panel. And the reason being is, is I can make that wheel lip, it'll actually give me the shape of the quarter panel. If I make this out of a flat piece of metal all the way around, I can make that, and then I can weld it to that quarter panel, butt weld it on, and make it look like this. To try to bend all that metal over <coughs> on this, I got a tickle. <coughs> in my throat to try to bend that all over and make it that shape out there that's that's where people get messed up confused I can't do this it looks like a piece of dog poo that sort of stuff we're going to add that stuff after this is a bit long here I do not mind making it long because we can always cut it off and also I don't know do not know what we need tail light or close to it so 
So me and, and well, me and Doug, whoever, um, as as time goes on, there will be videos of how to fix a rusty old tap. And um, the Plymouth needs quarter panels, and that's what we're going to do. So that is the shape that, <laughs> that we trace it there. We need a piece of metal. Me and Doug are going to go grab a piece of metal. Come on, Douglas. Let's go grab a piece of metal. Put a pair of gloves on, old brother. Go. Okay. Probably should have got the metal first, but it is what it is. That's where all the metal comes from. In the storage container. It just grows in there. It grows in there, yeah. Ooh, that was close. You hit that Bugatti, you've been, you've been, you've been, I don't know what you would have been. You hit the Bugatti. I'll go in first. Alrighty. Um, you're gonna hold the metal. I'm gonna grab a 3D printed quarter panel. You're gonna lay the metal down, old brother. If you can, you're gonna come on the other side. All right. Now, you might as well take it up there. And if that piece has to be cut off, it can be. Now we're gonna to try to put that on as straight as possible. We're gonna, I'm gonna get the magnets. I might as well bring them if I don't, ouch! Okay, you're gonna, we're gonna save that piece down there. Here, Doug, I'll, I'll give you something to play with too. Thanks. It's gonna stretch this out straight. straight. It's flat. Now, I have a piece down here I have to add before we do any cutting, and the reason being is uh, we'll bend that in the brake and make that work. So I'm gonna go do a measurement. Actually, what I'm gonna do is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a piece of Bristol board. I had a straight edge. That'd be fantastic. What's that? I want a straight edge, it would be nice. And the reason is, I'll tell you why I want a straight edge. I'll tell you here in a second. Man, I'm using that stuff up like candy. All right, Doug, you can take the marker. I'll get a piece of Bristol board. You can take the marker and start tracing, tracing the, the quarter panel out, if you will. Okay, got a marker? Yep. Got a good marker? Sure, just, just, no, well, I don't know if it's better, but. You go through them. Damn close. It's better. Anyways, I'm going to back with a piece of Bristol board. Right back. You just trace that out, Doug.
So as we do this, um, I plan on to show, plan on showing every step of the quarter panel process. And the reason being is, um, I feel like a lot of people would like to know how to build a quarter panel for their car. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Some of the stuff that we're doing on the hauler rate this present moment is a repeat. And uh, I know well, that's what life is about, is repeat, repeat. But um, to watch it might be a little bit hard on you. So um, basically repeating on that is what it is. Um, building this quarter panel for the Dodge is something that I feel like a lot of people would like to be able to know and do. And I'm gonna show you, we, so when we stop the camera, there will be no more work going on until we show you again. And we'll use this for, or we'll use this project for um, when we're repeating or feel like there's not good content. So Doug got that all done. So I've got a straight edge here. This is what I want the straight edge for. Do you want to come here, Doug, and help me? Seeing where you got a free hand? Just hold up underneath that. Are we all the way in on? I'm right up against the lid. Go right against the fold where it's going. Yeah, perfect. Good, like that. So we have that in there like that. I'm right in against the fold. Can you hold it that like this? Yeah. Okay. I could measure it, probably no doubt in my mind, but in all honesty, I enjoy it that way. Now, this gives me this distance from this line into there. I have to add that bit there. I'm gonna have to add that. So, so I've got this here. Now I'm gonna add that when I go back. So I'm gonna cut this off. Probably could measure it. Probably could. But trying to simplify it. I'm gonna add that much to it. Don't take her off too much. Yep, Doc. Okay, I suppose you can. So I'm gonna add this to it. Didn't grab my scissors. So we'll be bending it here. This will be the piece of metal that's a 90, and this will be a, a 90 the other way. This is the lip, and we can always cut this lip off. It's a bit long. Yes, it is. But that's how it's going. So this is the line to be cut. This is to be bent, and that's to be bent. We're long here. This is the door. That's the door, and this is a little bit past underneath the door on the sill. Now, just want to do this. I got a little, just be I just want to do something here. I got, a, I got that line there. So what I'm gonna do is, if I have a little punch, Get a little. 
Doug took off my thing, took off the magnet, so it had to be extra special. There you go, buddy. Uh, uh, Just gonna put on the line here. Just gonna make a couple marks on the metal underneath. So I know where the seam, come on. It's not doing that good. You're supposed to spring and do that for me, but it's not snapping for me. Punch and hammer? Please. Give a little tap. We just want to know where that line is, that's all. I don't want to go crazy or anything. Just want to know where that line is. It's not even really a line, it's a roll of some sort. Now if we take that off, we should be able to see ends about there somewhere. Magnus for you, Doug. Put the magnets back on the car, so I guess we know where they're at. This piece is finny, so if you need a, a quarter panel for a 56 Plymouth, we'll send it to you in the mail. <laughs> yeah. That is basically done for. Basically done for. Now, what's going to happen is is we're gonna cut that out. Now you can see where we, where we got our line. We just tap it and we know where it ends. You know, it's just, just, just to see where it's going. Now, <clears throat> what I'm gonna say is, this is what I'm gonna say. What's that? Um, mm, we can use it for the other side. Yeah, we can. Or we can make her another one, like another piece of paper, but yeah, well, let's use it for the other side. What the heck? I was gonna. That's fine. Yeah, we'll use it for the other side. That's what she'd do. What I'm gonna do is maybe. Where should I put it? Inside the car? I'll throw it inside the car. Good call, Johnny. Good call. But I just make another one, you know, and get a paper, but what's, what's the sense, eh? bit wrinkled up but that's fine we can unwrinkle it with the magnets okie dokie Doug's gonna cut this out with a grinder and what I'm gonna say is cut um, if you if you can like if not say if you can uh, just cut away from the line a little bit and we we can use the sander wheel to get the right the right shape if you know what I'm trying to tell you, do not go past that line because we want we want to see we want to see that line. Um, but this line, this can be cut. That line can be cut. Um, that wheel opening can be cut. Try not to get or do not go past that line if you can. Um, and this sort of stuff, if you have to cut, like cut it straight this way and then cut it straight this way to get it to come together. You know, just do straight and then we can. We can flap our wheel to where it needs to be. That can be cut. You can just cut this one off right, right along here and just go straight along that if you want to. Sure. Then we can cut this off after as we can make it smaller. I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to go use the little boys room. Doug's going to get geared up with a grinder or a zip cut to cut that off. So you ready to rock and roll are you? How do you want to rock and roll? Okay, so Doug's going to cut this off. Um, he's going to try to make it easy as possible. <clears throat> you may as well, Doug, um, come along there and cut along there and cut straight over and cut, cut that line and cut yeah. it, get this off. Yeah. And then you, we can get in there and cut that wheel opening out after yeah. and the end piece. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the wheel opening uh, for the car. So I'm going to actually grab a piece of... 
Might as well use this. Uh, you get the markers. Right on the stump. There. Right on the stump. Uh, missing the cover for one. I got, I got the cover. And uh, da, 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 da. just gonna grab another piece of board. Your tape is where Doug. You had some tape around your wrist, I know. Right there. Thank you. Go for it. Did you want his mic off, White? Okay. Fine. Doug's gonna cut the the, sh the quarter panel open. I'm gonna do this part. Where where the quarter panel? This is that's the part where <laughs> I find a lot of people get messed up. Is trying to make this this lip here as you're making this lip. Um, Fred, the guy that we bought the pull max, he, he makes a wheel or the wheel openings for a Chev truck and he has made himself a wooden buck and he clamps a piece of metal inside the wooden buck and then he bends that lip over and he has that opportunity. Fantastic for, for an opening of a wheel well. But we're making a full quarter panel. It's pretty hard to um, make that wheel opening and have the rest of the quarter panel sitting on it. We are going to add the wheel lip after the quarter panels are made. We got the outside shape, then we're going to add this shape and we're going to butt weld it all the way along the edge. Also, this shape here is going to tell me the shape of the outside of the quarter panel. So if I take and put my piece of paper here, if I do this, kind of save the paper, I'm going where the bend is, coming in. When I, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna make this. Now I've got this in there. <clears throat> this is the outside lip. We'll, we'll make a, a fairly decent thick lip so we could grind it back if we have to. <laughs> <coughs> Now, that will, when, when, I, when I cut this piece open, that goes right to there. Get a pair of scissors. Make another piece. Basically straight. Gonna have a little bit of a a bow to it. It's not going to be exactly straight like this. We'd want a little bit of a grade to it to give it uh, a little bit of shape. I'm going to go from there. So I'm just going to cut off my finger right here. I need those scissors. that off right here. Ouch. And the reason I cut it off there is I'm just going to that fill and then it's a different shape going down there. So we're going to just do this. Going to the mark. Going to the fill. <laughs> I'm going to use the straight edge. This side's a straight edge. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to round it off just a little tiny bit. We'll say centers. Let's find center of this bad boy. We'll say centers here somewhere we're basically up right on the center of the quarter pan what I want to do is I want to take a little bit off just a little bit just a little bit here and the only reason I'm taking that off without knowing what I'm doing is because I do not want that quarter panel exactly flat right across there I want a little bit of what, what is that called 
a little bit of contour or shape that it, it, it's got a high and we want the high in the center. So I'm just going to knock a little bit of this off. So now the high is in the center. That's where the high is. Now I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to make that distance here all the way along with what I have. So it's not exactly straight. It's got shape. Like Jolene, it's got shape. All right. We're gonna go like this, cut this off. This is a bit thick for a wheel, uh, wheel well opening, but we can always grind it off, like I said. So we have that piece. That is the center there, that's the outside. That's where the mark was. Let's cut this, let's cut this one off. And whatever you don't like as you've drawn, uh, you can make sure you straighten it with your scissors. It's not over until it's over. That's there. All right, that's that opening. Doesn't fit the best right there. And that's okay. We're gonna fix it. We'll make it. That fits better. Take some of that off. You can see how it's stuck out there. We don't want that. We want it to fit right. And we'll have to add some in on the inside, but we'll stick that all together. Let's make the third and final piece. Uh, which piece did I have? That's the piece here that we want here. We don't want that one. That's not one we want. And then we're gonna make from the fill down in there. So we got fill. Fill makes everything look fantastic. You know that guy, Phil? Let's do this. I'm just using the outside shape to make my inside shape, trying to keep the distance. See how the line wasn't straight? I just straightened it out with my sis sis. My sis sis. All right, Douglas, you want to come here for a second? Oh, buddy. <clears throat> Actually, I don't know if a magnet will stick or not. But... What you doing? Uh, I'm making the wheel opening. Let's take this. Actually, no, I'm going to let you go do what you do. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. You sure, um, yeah, I'm sure. I, I just. Away, buddy. Okay. I can just tape it on. Just take some tape and 
There's flux and tape on it. Sometimes two hands is a help is always good, but if you have no, don't need any help doing this, I don't think. Rip off a cut piece of tape and see how it goes. Probably have the magnets with stick, I'm not sure. I do not like how that fits right there. So we're going to draw a line that's getting cut off because it's not fitting right. Let's do that right there. Not going too bad. And she's not real thick. It held on. So we're gonna take a little tape, add that together. I basically do not even need to do this yet, but get this one on. It fits really nice. A little bit shy. I took it up too far. Just gonna take
that's basically uh, the wheel shape of the quarter panel. So this is what's going to happen. Doug's getting close. I cut it all in five feet. Yeah, he went close. Yeah. Jeez, it looks like you could have went right on the line, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, this will, this will go on here like this after we get the quarter panel made. So this is another pattern that we need. We'll slide this to a side. Doug got really close on some of it, and I think I'm going to just make it a little bit closer. So, um... Doug, you cut it out that good, you can cut it out on the line then. I should just let Doug go on that. Did that do? Uh, you cut it out good enough that you could have cut it on the line. How's that? Yeah, I know, I know. I could, but I like to leave you some meat. No, you, 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 you may as well finish and, and take it right to the line. because you can do that all the way around. You, you've got it pretty close. And where you're not close and you're not sure, just hold off and we'll use the flapper wheel. Like you yep. can win on that there and that there and leave it for the flapper wheel to finish it nice. You may as well finish that off. So that's yep. basically uh, what Doug's going to do is finish cutting that quarter panel out because he can do it, obviously. I didn't know if that was the case, but Doug can do it. So what we got going on is we got the pattern of the quarter panel. Uh, Doug's cutting it out. We have the wheel opening that we have going to do. And uh, we'll be next, we'll be cutting the quarter panel off. He's got the zip cut. Do we want to cut the quarter panel off today? What, what's the time? We're at 52. So we'll just hold, hold up a little bit. We'll go in and we'll let Doug get the quarter panel cut. Um, we've got the wheel opening done, but when the quarter panel's cut, then we're gonna end up trying to put that quarter panel on. We're the, I see we got a little bit of a roll here. It would be nice if we could roll the quarter panel on, weld the quarter panel on, or tack it on up here, and then roll it down with this piece here. We're gonna cut this quarter panel off. This piece here, this line here, what I see is grabbing the quarter panel and laying it on a piece of round pipe and bending it around a little bit. Uh, this piece down here is for the brake. We'll bend that in the brake. Down here, we might roll it by hand. We've got no wheel lip on it, so you know that we can roll it, if you know what I'm trying to say. So this, this is just basic body work for someone that wants to repair a quarter panel. So what we'll do is we'll wait for Doug to finish the quarter panel, cutting it. We'll hold it up to the side of the car, and then, then we'll go from there tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll end up cutting it off or that sort of stuff and getting ready to carry on with it. But let's, get, let's wait to Doug get the quarter panel cut. We'll see what it looks like, and we'll go from there. How you making it, Doug? What's that? You still like this. Looks good. I'm gonna flapper wheel some there for you. Where'd I put them gloves? You want to flap that or you want me to cut it? You cut it if you can st stay on the line. I sure can. Stay on the line. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the gloves.
want to slap a wheel or something? a little bit. It's good. Now we're going to take it up and set it inside the car. And just show you where where we're going with it. Wheel opening. We're on, we're on our line. We've we got here. we've got all the stuff that we need. We'll have to cut out for the gas cover door. Um, the wheel opening is up a little bit. Yeah. There you go. There's where there there's the there's the start. And uh, that's the start right there. We might even be able to put this quarter panel on uh, without cutting it in half. And the reason I'm saying cutting it in half up through here and then putting it back together is in case I want to roll it and put it into, you know, put some shape into it. That's basically all I'm asking for to roll it in half because I only got a four foot four foot roller but that's that's the start of it right there you come back tomorrow and we'll we'll go for it again if the weather's fit um, like share comment make sure you come back tomorrow we're still working on uh, the, the hauler it's just making the bumper and that sort of stuff is a repeat um, we're, we've got it looking really good uh, on the other side if we want to go on the other side we're starting to use the Eastwood, not sure exactly what it's called, Eastwood that we this thing here anyways, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Contour S S C T. Eastwood Contour STC. Starting to get the, the truck and the rust cleaned off it to make it look good. And that's that's happening. But uh, like, share, comment, come back. We'll be here tomorrow. Uh, we're making a quarter panel from absolutely nothing, and I feel like uh, there's more people than me who would like to know how to do this, and you can do it just as well as we can. Have a great day. Come back tomorrow.